Hello everyone, so in this video we will see how to use Element and how to install your own Matux server to be able to use it. So Element it's an app that can replace uh, WhatsApp on every other app. And what is really nice about Element is that you can bring um, other chat apps into Element so that you don't need to have uh, multiple apps to, to speak with all your friends. You can just keep only one app which is Element, and you will be able to discuss uh, with your friends on WhatsApp, Signal, Telegram, and even uh, Instagram, because if we look here, Bridge Matrix Instagram, because if we look at there's also a bridge for Instagram, only for the DMs, so it seems to be working. So it's really nice and really easy to set up, and we will see how to do it. So first we will use uh, this Ansible, so, which is really nice. Um, thank you very much to uh, this guy. I'm not sure his name, but uh, I just did yeah, Slavi. So, I mean, the Matrix on Cyber that he did is really, really nice and enables to do so much stuff. So, thank you to this guy. And uh, let's see. So, this, it will uh, deploy on Docker. So, Docker, it's really um, available in many, many places. And this is really easy to set up. So how do you set up? So it's really easy to set up. You can, when you go on the GitHub, so here, you can self-host it, so it's really easy to do. And we will use Synapse because this is still the default. And it's really, really nice. So let's just use this. And it comes with a lot of uh, components, but we don't need all these components. I mean, we just use the defaults because we don't need more than this. This one is really nice if you want to integrate with your own application because uh, you just have to provide a one API for for Matrix and uh, basically all your users will be able to log in directly to Matrix with a specific username. So this is really nice if you want to integrate Matrix and if it interests you, we can speak about this in another video, but this is not about this video today. So let's clone it. So we go here and we copy. And so now we will open it with our favorite uh, IDE. So for me, it will be WebStorm. So that now I have this project in WebStorm. I will need to do a few things. If we continue to use, so let's uh, go to installation. So what do I need to do? FAQ, what is important? So how do I find, what is matrix, blah, blah, blah. Tens of bridge, so what bridge you can use, so Discord, Telegram, Slack, WhatsApp, Facebook. Basically, any, even I'm not sure what is Beeper. So what do I need to install this? Uh, so when you go on the prerequisites, when you go on the prerequisites, you can see all the things needed. So you need a virtual machine. Um, so I will go on OBH to get my virtual machine. So I go on public cloud. Instances, create an instance. We'll go for a cheapest one. So this one, Graveline, uh, they recommend uh, Ubuntu 22.04. We'll put the latest uh, LTS. Actually, we'll put uh, Debian Element Matrix Server. Then I will go on Namecheap because I need to link uh, Namecheap because I need to link a uh, name so the, my domain. So here I will go benjamintech.org. I just need the domain name. So here I am just finishing the order. So it didn't work. Okay, so here I am with my new uh, domain name. So after what I can do is, so now I need to make sure that I have access to root. I have Python installed, so on my, on my computer, so Python, uh, so you see I have Python 3.8, Python 3.8, Ansible, so you need to install Ansible on your computer too. So how do you do it? So install Ansible Mac, so it's really easy to do also. Uh, basically you just follow this tutorial and you, you will see how to do it. So I will configure the domain name. First I will make sure that I have access to this, so SSH. So yes, I, I have access here. And if I do a sudo su 
I am a root now. So I have a root access, so this is good. This is my domain. If I go, yeah, there's nothing yet. So here I should add the correct DNS. So matrix to my matrix IP. So matrix to this element, the C name, so element to matrix that Benjamin tech that org. I will do it for everything actually. So stats, go med, I don't care, I don't care. This can be fun. Hydrogen, yeah, I don't really care. Actually, so far it's enough. So now that we have all the, all the domain that points to our new uh, domain name, so the next step was to get the code. So the clone is already done. Configuring. So we create a directory like this and copy this. So also copy this one. So this one I have to modify it. So here you put your new domain. So here you copy the IP and here from its DPN. Okay, so now let's see how to install. So now so just for so now that we will install on the server, so the, this simple command will install everything that we need and it will start automatic services. So I have an issue with GNUPG2, so we have to install it. And so I try again to install everything. And so I try again to install everything and it seems better. Okay, so it just finished and we can see that 199 things were okay. And two, 21 things okay. 344. So let's see if it actually is working. Okay, when we go on it, we can see here it is. Same. Create an account. Yeah, nobody can create an account. Obviously, I don't want uh, anybody to be able to register on my server. By default, registration is disabled, so this is great. And last thing I want to do is create my user so that I would be able to uh, connect here. So if we come back here, registering user, I will do it here, but I will not show you my uh, username and my password, obviously. So I will skip it. And so it should be something like this. Uh, so if I show you username, yeah, password, so we put admin and I will change these two values. And so now I'm looking on the app. So we show you on the screen. Here I can just change so matrix that Benjamin tech.org. This is my home server. Here I will put so my login. So now I'm logging. Um so here I have to accept. I will scan. I just scan it. So now oh, it's okay. And everything is good. And so if I try to see some rooms, uh, it's not yet available, but I will show you in the next video. But if I try to create a new group, then you can see it here. So just to be able to send message to anyone. Okay, so I hope you like this video and if you learned something, please leave a comment and like this video. Thank you.